For years, scientists have known about a species of zombie worm that feasts on the bones of corpses, but until now they were thought to only live in the cold depths of the oceans. For the first time, a previously unknown species of bone-eating worm has been found in the warmer waters of the Mediterranean Sea. And researchers expect to find more lurking in an underwater canyon nearby. Ozdex is Latin for bone-eating. It is also the name for the genus of sea-dwelling bone-eating worm or zombie worm named after the way it bores into the bones of carcasses where it feasts on molecules like fats. Only six species of Ozdex have been described although the existence of more than 25 has been determined. These bone-eating worms, described for the first time 11 years ago, have very particular characteristics. The worms seek out new bones when they are just larvae, and once they find it they feast on it for their lives. Microscopic larvae released from females are responsible for finding new suitable habitats. The zombie worms feast on any vertebrate bone would do, mammals, fish or reptiles. The new unnamed species was discovered by Dr. Sarji Taboda, who works at the Natural History Museum, London, and a team from the University of Barcelona. Researchers spotted it while in the waters off the coast of Blanes, in Spain, and it is the first to be found in the Mediterranean. Until now they had only been seen in the Pacific, North Atlantic, and Antarctic Oceans the only requirement for them to develop on bones is that the bone is fresh in the sense that the organic content of the bone is intact, Dr. Taboda told Mail Online. Once they find the bone they settle and they develop as females that feed directly on the bone organic content, thanks to symbiotic bacteria that they harbor in their roots. If the larva reaches the bone and settles on a female, it develops as a dwarf male that lives inside the female's tube. The males are microscopic, in the order of 100 to 500 micrometers and live inside tubes built by the females, where they have only a reproductive function. Harems of males are often found within a single tube of each female and they devote their lives to reproductive matters. In my opinion, we were quite lucky to report the first Ozdex in the Mediterranean since we were surveying a relatively shallow water area that is highly influenced by the deeper waters of the Blaine's Canyon. Dr. Taboda told the Blaine's Canyon is 328 feet, 100 meters, deep. The shallowest species ever reported was described by us in the Southern Ocean but there the seawater temperature is colder than anywhere else, continued Dr. Taboda. The water temperature where Ozdex is usually found is low, between minus 1 and 15 degrees Celsius, while in the Mediterranean, at shallow depths, the water is between 11.8 and 22.2 degrees Celsius. The fact that we have found Ozdex for the first time ever in the Mediterranean proves that these organisms can also live in tempered latitudes in relatively shallow depths even though they are usually related with deeper waters, Dr. Taboda said. Ozdex feast on lipids, naturally occurring molecules that include fats, waxes, sterols, fat-soluble vitamins when the water is warm, lipids decompose more quickly, giving the worms less time to eat them. The rapid decomposition of the lipids in bones found in warmer waters could explain the absence of Ozdex in the Mediterranean at depths of less than 50 meters, said Conxita Avila, who is part of the study. When the carcass of a vertebrate reaches the Mediterranean seabed and remains at shallow depths, it is free-living bacteria that degrade its bones and decompose the organic material, said Dr. Taboda. In Antarctica, because the temperature is very homogeneous throughout the water column, Ozdex are also found in shallow waters. Where it is deeper there are fewer of these bacteria due to lower water temperatures, but we also find Ozdex that, together with endosymbiotic bacteria, feed on the organic material retained in bones and therefore help decompose them. According to the researchers, finding Ozdex at these latitudes could be related to the contact with the deeper and colder waters in Blaine's underwater canyon an area where they think more abundant and stable populations of the new Ozdex species could live. We need to do more studies to be able to determine if this new species, which we are yet to name, only lives in the shallow waters of the western Mediterranean or if it is also found in other deep water basins in the eastern Mediterranean or Atlantic Ocean, for example, said Dr. Avila. Pending the collection of new samples of this new Mediterranean Ozdex species to study its morphological characteristics, the only differences that we have been able to determine in relation to other species are genetic, 
said Dr. Tabota.